Hi guys, Ben here from the IFT community team. I wanted to take a really quick minute to tell you all if you're not already aware about IFT's new applet editing feature. Um, pretty straightforward. Now you have the ability to edit existing applets. Um, those could be either your own existing applets that are private, or you can now edit um, and make your own um, those that are published applets as well. Um, for today's example, I'm just going to edit one of my own applets. So we're going to start here with this first one. If you exit an area, then turn off office. Um, this is me turning off my office lights if I forget when I leave my house. Um, once we've opened the applet, you want to click settings. Once you've opened that, um, pretty straightforward. You can now uh, make changes to the trigger, the current trigger in action. Um, you can delete, uh, you can add filter and queries, which is something that before you had to do when you created that applet. Um, and you can also add extra actions, which is what we're going to do now. Um, so I'm turning off my office lights. I also want to turn off a lamp that I have in case I forget. So I'm going to search for TP-Link Casa and I'm going to click turn off. And the one we want to turn off is the lamp, yo. And I'm going to click create action. And then once we've got our second action, we're going to click update. And just like that, we've edited an applet. Um, hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. Have a good day, guys.